Hello and welcome to another edition of Stockwatch. So as we get into the middle of the trading week, I just want to highlight that big tech stocks have no signs of slowing down at the moment. As you know, the FANG companies that make up the S&P and even the NASDAQ, uh, they have been so uh, buoyant over the last quarter and even before at the beginning of the year as well you know yesterday we saw that facebook achieved their one trillion dollar market cap we've also got uh, microsoft that top two trillion not so long ago as well and you know amazon google are nearing the two trillion dollar market as well it's just um, it's, it's never ending at the moment so a lot of investor did say that they were turning their away from um you know growth stocks let's say or tech stocks in favor of value stocks at the beginning of the year probably looking to plug more money into these up and coming startups or you know it, it, companies that had a, you know a lower intrinsic value than usual but you know now this as i say the so-called fang uh, companies that make up the phrase, you know, Facebook, Apple, um, and the rest of them. It just seems that they've got no slight signs of slowing down. And even you could say, you know, the big tech uh, giant Nvidia, um, you know, it's one of the most valuable semiconductors in the United States. They're really pushing for that uh, big uh, valuation as well, uh, because that's just under five hundred billion dollars. So if you add all that up in the Nasdaq 100, let's say these group of companies, then you look at almost 10 trillion dollar worth of companies in that uh, in those seven companies alone and this is not forgetting Tesla and Netflix as well so you know you just have to be in awe of these tech companies and see what the uh, potentials are so I just want to look at Netflix first of all today because you know we haven't really heard too much in the way of news of Netflix for a while we have subscriber numbers that they uh, give out every quarter uh, there'll be earnings season coming up shortly but just before we get into that season I just want to take a look at what the possibilities are for the stock itself so I've got this on a daily chart now with the assistance of the Ichimoku cloud as usual you can see we're in a let's say a, a dead cat bounce kind of scenario here you know we're hitting this kind of trend line um, and we're just waiting to see what the next possibilities are I'll be expecting another push at this particular trend line and that'll be um, you know like a little sandwich between the top border of the Ichimoku cloud and um, the top trend line there so if prices do break out, then I'll be looking at these recent tops, you know, trying to push that $600 mark, which we haven't seen for a while, actually, or haven't been attempted for a while, because um, well, we haven't actually achieved it yet. So, you know, another push to $600 would be quite satisfactory, <coughs> excuse me, for uh, a lot of the uh, traders that are on Netflix. However, you know, there is a possibility that we could enter this Ichimoku cloud and start pushing lower as well. When you have the um, base and conversion lines of the Ichimoku indicator quite far down away, it could be the signs of a retracement at some point. And uh, you know, this is adding to the fact that there is a bit of a bearish divergence on the, uh, on the RSI as well. So let's just take it down to a four hour chart. And as you know, not too much in the way of differentials there. We're just waiting to see what the possibilities are. If we're going to start coming lower, uh, the Ichimoku cloud is very thin here. So there is less of a chance that we're going to hit it uh, and more impetus onto the upside. So we'll wait and see what the main opportunities are. As I said, if we hit pierce this trend line, then we could be going for the, you know, mid 560 range there. So just a few things to look out for as we say goodbye to the second quarter. And the biggest semiconductor chip maker in America and NVIDIA, we're just looking at that as well at the moment, just to see what the possibilities are. Great accentuation to the upside. I mean, it's been uh, you know, meteoric um, at the moment. So we're just uh, very much, the you know, the uh, impetus is onto the upside as well. So very, very um, valued there. We are looking that there will be a bit of a slowdown on the RSI at some point. So when that does kick in, uh, we could see a slight bearish divergence there. So we'll just be keeping an eye on that uh, for sure. And just looking at the four hour chart as well, 
uh, you know, again, not really too much in the way of uh, divergences here and the cloud is actually quite far away. You see the two um, indicators there in the basin convergent line, they're very they're more close to the candlesticks to then uh, Netflix. So this gives us a bit of an indication that it could be a slight pullback at some point if the if these um, sorry if these uh, lines hang on to candles, uh, it could actually be a case of that they're going to start coming back down. So just keep an eye out for that. And also, you know, the divergences on the RSI. There is a small one that has been just evolving at the moment, but. Uh, we'll see if this comes into fruition in the next few trading days. So that's all from the Stopwatch today. Thank you very much for joining me. If you have any comments or queries, please feel free to add them to the post and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and have a great trading day ahead and bye for now.